Okay, we're going to look at the Star Wars Action Figure Archive by edited by Stephen J. Sansui with Josh, Josh Ling. This is the UK version. I think there's a US and a Japanese version of this book. Detailed information on each character. UK price was about £25 when it came out. It's a bit out of date now, but it's still a really good book. And it's great on vintage, it's great on Powers of the Force too. So, you know, that's what it covers, so. But it does it in quite a good way. And, you know, this version, so 1999, this version by Virgin Books. Yep, so it's about 21 years old now. So, you know, it's quite nicely set out and you know it focuses on star wars figures empire jedi and power of the force and it sort of ends at the 98 1998 before it's coming out then so at the top half here you've got the loose figures and the you've got the loose vintage and the loose power of the force So these are all the variants of the Han Solo, say, and the Han Stormtrooper, Luke. Then you've got all the vintage figures underneath grouped together. So it's quite nicely done. I mean, probably we're most interested in the vintage figures, so you know, you've got this fixed and uh, removable limb C3PO. See if there's any variations here. Well, I think I'll just show you one example of each figure. So that's how simplistic Styles collecting was in those days. It's nice to see them all together, and, and plus you can compare the uh, see this vintage hammerhead with the uh, Power of the Force Two hammerhead. Obviously, most of the, these figures were bulked up. Aman, Aman. Yak face there, Power of the Force Yak face. And there's the original Yak face, which is highly sought now. So now this part, so you've got some of the Shadow to the Empire figures there and uh, Merrowaves and odd oddities, and then we've got the classic vintage figures. So now we start on to the Hasbro Kenner Toys Star Wars 1995-97. So it goes through these. So you've got Luke there. I mean, the Luke transition is worth a lot of money, so that's one power of the Force 2 figure that's worth a lot of money. So if you ever find the transition farm boy Luke, Luke, that means it's just got a short saber and a long tray. That's worth a lot of money. Uh, Han Solo there, Chewbacca, Darth Vader. There is a version with a retooled Darth Vader. That's worth quite a bit of money. I've never found it. Stormtrooper, hologram Stormtrooper. There was one on those on eBay on Friday. I was quite tempted to pick it up, but I didn't. But I'm quite tempted. So you got a green cards with a hologram there. You know, love them all, hate them. You know, they've still got quite a lot of appeal. Power of the Force too. Obviously, most people find the, this line of figures quite awful, but you know, because I was, this is, I collected this line heavily. So, I've got quite a lot of fond um, memories of collecting these. You've got mostly red cards for the Luke X-Wing. I like the green card. I like the contrast between the orange and the green. Just really nice. Plus it's a hologram. 
Lando. You can get Lando on a green card, but you have to, it's in a three pack. It's like Sam's Club. You have to find Lando on a free pack. So I don't know why they're not showing it in this book because Sam's Club and whoever Josh Lynn should have known about that. Boba Fett. Boba Fett is another figure that is highly sought. Any mistake on the figure, so you see the hand there, if there's like a, a half circle or one of the paint apps is missing, that makes Boba Fett incredibly valuable. So Boba Fett is a very valuable figure and he's valuable on the freeze frame card as well. Luke Dagobah can be found in a transition but he's not as valuable as the Luke farm boy, Yoda. Um, Han Hoff, TIE Fighter Pilot. This Luke Jedi can be found with a brown vest so that's the version you want to get. And there's some dis dis sculpting differences in the lightsaber hilt as well. Uh, shadows figures. Now, the, this layout on the purple card, or is it the green card? One of the, one, I think it's, it must be this version of Leia. Bow, she's worth quite a lot of money. But it's got to be, you've got to get, have the right collection number and all that sort of stuff. And you've got, Boba Fett in the two pack, IG88. I think the IG88 is more or less the re reissue of the uh, vintage figure with some slight updates. These figures I really like. The limited orange cards. So I've got the Luke Stormtrooper and uh, well, I've got the R5 a lot later, and I've got the Hammerhead. They were expensive in the day. But this, gre uh, yeah, the Greedo. I think that's a beautiful card. I've always wanted it. I've never got it. I'm, I'm tempted to pull the trigger. I just like the color, the green and then the orange and then the gold on these later orange cards. are really nice. I just think that's a beautiful carded figure. <laughs> Some more of the freeze, not freeze frames, but Sand Trooper, Greedo. I mean, I've got him on the green card, but I've always wanted him on the orange card. And these orange cards are a lot cheaper these days, so you can get them at a more affordable price. Luke Stormtrooper. I mean, still with these early figures, they're still a bit muscled up. I mean, the Jawas are pretty cool. And you can hold them under the light and the eyes will glow. R5 was awful. But I do have that one. I'll probably have the green hologram. No. So this book goes into sort of designs and stuff like that. Bosk, he was a brilliant figure. So this is the basis of the Oratet figure and one of the best Power of the Force 2 figures is Bosk. Luke Hoff, not too bad. Still a bit overly bulked. 2 one B is a great figure because he's been reissued in those VC free packs so this is a figure that's still used or been reissued you know they haven't really updated 21B since this figure ATST driver Rebel I mean another thing with these figures was the way they posed them like the legs were wide apart and all that sort of stuff not to everyone's cup of tea Lando Skiff Han trench coat. There's variations with the Han trench coat with the trousers. Some are brown, some are blue. So you've got to look for that. Emperor. The Emperor's not too bad. Bib Fortuna. This figure was reissued in the Saga. Or the OTC. The, yeah, the OTC. Just with updated paint. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. That was an all new figure. So people clamoured for that figure. Rebel Fleet Trooper, that was an all new figure, highly desired. Rike. This figure on the freeze frame card is worth a fortune. Dengar, not too bad. It's got no backpack on this version. ASP7, so that's something from the, um, you know, special editions. Ponda Baba, not too bad. Forlom's not too bad either, look at that. Got nice rust rush on it, maybe a bit overdone, but still, you know. Admiral Akbar, 
Garandin, long snoot, it's not too bad. Pretty cool there. Layer slave, first slave layer. What a great figure. I mean, obviously they've done better versions of Slave Layer subsequently, but you know, Han Bespin. Hans always tend to be overly muscled. Emperor's Royal Guard. I mean, it's not, you could display that figure still, but it's a bit, you know, it's just a, a bit lackluster, that figure. This is a good one, Snow Trooper. A near numb, it's not too bad. Rancor Keeper's good. <laughs> They're not going to muscle him up too much. A uh, Yak Face. It's okay, this Yak Face, but <laughs> I prefer the original vintage and then obviously the new VC version. Gamma Ring Guard's not too bad. Quite a bulky looking figure. Uh, this is a good figure because this is based on the original vintage figure. I just think they removed the flap because on the original figure it had a talking fl fl uh Yeah, so that's the original and that's the updated version. So it just has a more realistic paint job. Luke Samoni, again, still bulky. To Spirit of Obi-Wan. This was a promotion. You could get this in America and UK as well. US promotion. This is a fan club. You could get this from the fan club. So each figure came with the five instruments. Bamor Monk. So this was a exclusive as well. Then you got the first power droid probe droid. Came on that card there. That's the original one that came with in the 1980s set. Crowd Control Stormtrooper, Han, smug Smugglers, Jetpack, I think. Yeah, Flight Pack and Luke with Desert sp Sports Gift. I've got all of these. Boba Fett with his massive, what's it called? Blast Rocket Pack. This one, this one's not too bad. This is the Snow Trooper with the tripe gun. Pretty good set that one. Or the Rebel Trooper. I mean, if you wanted to make di dioramas, these are good sets to get. Then you've got these the lightsaber light up figures, electronic figures. You've got the Hong Kong set there, 12 inch and the 3.75 sets, the cinema scenes. They're pretty okay. I've got quite a lot of these. Got creature sets. Wonto with Jawa. Dubaks is, you know, not too bad set. And then some more. We've got vehicles as well. It's got quite a good section of vehicles. Got the X rings. You got the Millennium Falcon updated version. Got the Swoop Dash Renders Up Rider. I do have that one. ATST Slave One updated. Snow Speeder updated. I got that. Mine's missing the rear cannon. Got the Luke 216 Skyhopper, got that. Cruise Missile Trooper, got that. There's the packaging. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, got that. Uh, got all of these sets. Never got the A-Ring, but I've got all of those sets like Death Star Escape, Death Star Detention, Hoff and Endor play sets. Off battle. Then Leo on the speeder bike got that. Haven't got the A ring though. Atap should have got that, but never did. Uh, 12 inch figures. Pretty cool. 
So you've got a lot of these, got all of these for um, got the Luket swing. I love to get that CPPI, that's expensive now. Got that double pack. Um, then we've got the band, haven't got that, or any of these. Yeah, pretty cool. And then we're going to go into the vintage. I'm going to stop the video here because Power of Force has taken too long in terms of uploading this video. So I'll um, do another video for the vintage.